this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here on the lake again. We've checked hover. We're good to fly. We're going to take it out. And uh, in the last video, I did some exploration of those buoys out there. We're going to do a little bit more exploration today. So again, I've checked hover. I'm clear to fly. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take it up. So we've got the uh, spark in the air. Let it set in a little bit. We've got the home point set. I'm going to set the video rolling. I want to kind of angle it or aim it because we're going to take it at a fairly low angle of approach straight out that way. So I want to make sure, I'm, since I'm going to go out low, I want to make sure I'm clear of any boats, anything like that. <clears throat> so um, and the other thing is I'm going to take it out sport mode this time. So I want to get out there quick. And uh, sport mode is doing it quick. Uh, but I want to catch a little bit more altitude as I'm headed out that way. So, whoa! Sport mode is response on that. I think I'm pretty much somewhere out there. And uh, I want to take it up a little bit more. I'm going to clip it out of sport mode, actually. Uh, so I can see a little bit what I'm doing. I want to... Look, I think this is it. I think I'm on it right about there. So I want to get out there a little bit more. So I'm out of sport mode. I think I'm moving in on the sun glare. The sun's glare is pretty good, but I think I'm coming up on it. Yeah, because I'm out there now closing on about 250 meters. I want to center on that buoy a little bit more. And we're getting up there closer to it. I'm closing on over 300, about almost 350 meters out there. So we're out there on this buoy. I want to get some a little bit closer video of this kind of coming in. And then I want to overshoot it. I'm going to drop the gimbal down. So as I'm coming across it. Now out there about, I think closing on, yep, I just crossed over 400 meters. So let's, uh, whoops, just down there, gimbal down a little bit. So there's the buoy, there's the shipping buoy. So we see it out there. So we're hanging around about 30 feet up above the water surface. We're watching the buoy. We're out here. we got the Blue Water Bridge down there, Fort Gratiot Lighthouse. Just kind of watching for ships. I should be, well, for a ship I'm still not high enough at, uh, at uh, I think uh, 30 feet, but uh, for average boat I am, maybe sailboat I got a problem. But I'm just trying to want to get some uh, video of this. The red buoy on the other side of it, that's the Canadian side, so I want to stay on you know this side of it. So again, just kind of capturing some video. Let's, uh, let's move more over it. Let's uh, try taking it out over it. Look at that. I don't know if this is an antenna or something on it that I might hit, so. So let's, uh, let's gimbal it down. Let's gimbal it down and take it up. Just in case. Ah, that's an interesting perspective. As it pulls away as we go up. And we're up to about 30 meters. Just want to make sure everything is clear. Everything's clear. I've got a uh, good battery. I want to create sort of a yaw of this. So I just kind of yaw it around. It should yaw back into perspective here. There it is. So uh, I want to back up a little bit. Because what I want to try to do is just kind of yaw it within the frame. I don't think I got it again, but uh, I think you're getting the picture literally. So I yaw this back around. There you go, Norbert. There's a yaw for you. A little bit of a yaw party. Uh, I want to go forward a little bit more. Maybe get in the center. Think, do you guys think if I get in the center? Better just back it up a little skosh. Send it off to the side a little bit. 
And so we'll do it this way. No, no, it's still going to drop out of frame. So I think I'd have to get a little bit higher to get that. Ah. Let's see if I back up a little bit more, put it more to the top of the frame. And let's move the copter this way a little bit. And let's see if we can do it. Nah, it's still going to drop from the top of the frame. I can get a good portion of it. Look at that swing around like that. Ah, that's pretty good. Let's uh, move back over top. Oops, I gimbaled down. So I'm uh, backing it up a little bit. So I want a direct gimbal down on it. And uh, so that's pretty cool. It's blowing the buoys. Look at the, uh, the wake that it's making as the water is coming down the river. The uh, eddies and everything that's uh, being formed beneath it's rather interesting. So uh, that's actually all pretty cool. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, gimbal back up. Let's kind of take a look at some perspective and uh, take it around. So uh, here we see the bridge and the lighthouse. You know, a nice framing of the bridge and the lighthouse down here. And yeah, let's just do a little bit of a yaw back around. Now we're looking. Uh, leave up lake. Boy, I tell you, it's a big lake, folks. Big lake. Big body of water. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start bringing it back in towards the, uh, the beach. So I'm just going to leave it in regular. The battery's getting down there a little bit, so... We're just going to bring it in in regular mode and see it's counting down. So I'm out there over 400 meters. So, And again, the signal on this is excellent. I've got the parabolics for this thing too. And I really haven't run into a need for them just yet. Um, you know, because one of the big things is, is obviously battery life is a big driver, uh, you know, of how far you can really go. Because, you, you know, again, you may have the radio range, but wherever you go out to, you still need to come back. I've seen a couple... Um, you know, videos on YouTube where they've made it, uh, you know, well more than a mile, actually I think a couple miles out with stock configuration, and I don't even think any uh, parabolic antennas attached to it or dishes. So, uh, quite impressive. So I'm going to start also bringing this down. I'm crossing over 250 meters closer, or coming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also start panning this down as I come in and get it down to about 10 meters, bring it in at about 30 feet instead of 90. Because a lot of times if you bring it in too high, you miss seeing it when it comes in. And you kind of lose a little bit of orientation. So I'm now coming in at uh, roughly about 30 feet. I'm now still pretty close to about 200 um, meters out. So still bringing it back in, just regular mode. Just really uh, nice views out there today, so no big hurry. Uh, still got pretty good battery life. I'm going to hit my warning point here in another couple minutes, but then I still have a, probably about two more minutes or so before uh, home point is activated or return to home. So, and I'm now crossing down to only about 300 feet, so she should be coming in pretty soon. And not too high either. And so now I'm only out about 300 feet. The sun's coming out, so it's going to make it a little bit harder to see in the sky because there's going to be some glare. And I can see I'm starting to come into some water. And I'm way off there. Wow. And I'm pointing right at my home location. Good one, Devin. My grandson spotted this that I was way over here. So, again, that's why I like coming in a little bit lower because, uh, you know, if you get too high, it's easy to fly over your head. I've done that a number of times. You know, just come in over my head, missed it, and, and actually ended up behind myself. So, kind of maybe a little Pilot 101 tip, if you will. So, I'm just going to bring it in. And I'm uh, going to kind of yaw it around. Pick it up. And bring her down.
before I land and everything, I'm in the low battery. I want to save the video off. And I want to bring it back. And I want to start putting it down. Let's see if I can get it this time. Usually once it gets in when it gets about within a foot, then it just wants to land wherever it's at. And uh, if I pull the right stick here, and push it over, and let's put it down. Let's see if we got it. Ah, we came close, but no cigar. I guess horseshoes, hand grenades, drive-in movies, what it's all about. So anyways, another great flight here on Lake Huron. The Spark. I tell you guys, I just love this copter. If you don't have one, if you're thinking about getting an entry-level drone, this is it. I've got links down below. Don't forget, I've got the accessory page. I have a curated accessory page for this little guy. Uh, the link's down below. You can get all kinds of add-on stuff for this thing. This thing's better than an iPhone. So, anyways, let me know what you guys are thinking for lunch. I think I'm going to do Wendy's with my grandson over here or something. Depends on what he wants. And then, uh, hey, subscribe button over there, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.